Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and I'm here with Book A Day, Day 42, yes Day 42 of UK Lockdown. So what have I got for you today? Um, before I go on to that I just want to um, sort of explain the Book A Day, I'm trying to make choices from books I've already read. Um, I won't be recommending them to you um, if they're on my shelves and, and they've not been read. So they have all, all been read. Now, this is just to make recommendations. I'm not necessarily going to be reviewing these books. It's just a couple of questions that's been asked. So I'm not necessarily going to be reviewing these. Many of them, um, if you go look in the cards and all the back, um, the back videos, um, many of the, my favourites have already been uh, reviewed um, you know in, in more depth and um, also if you want to catch up on recent reads and my reviews there my old series was news and reviews but at the minute because I, you know we haven't really got any news to talk about publishing wise have we or whatever with everything that's happening so I'm just uh, recreating that a little bit and it's called my recent reads recent reads and reviews so I've last week I think I put up uh, the first one of that so there's three books there that I've reviewed for you to have a look at if you've not seen them already and then my duo series that's also uh, reviewing books that I've read but I try to do a link between the two books either something of the same genre something of the same topic or you know there might be a link for example I did one bees so there was a link between the two books and uh, and, and it was bees so have a look back at those um, so I've got about um, three or four three or four more books to review for you that's uh, I've been writing that uh, my thoughts down on those today ready for a video this week um, I'm going to do a quick wrap up of uh, April's books and uh, so the ones that uh, I'm going to be discussing will be from April and uh, just as we go along I'm going to try and do it every three books but just to let you know that I'm not actually going to be reviewing these these are recommendations from some of my favorites um, but you know many of them have got reviews already if there's one in particular that you can't find, just drop, you know, let me know down below and I'll see if I can, if it, it is one that I've done, I'll locate it and give you the, uh, um, the link. Um, but if not, then, um, you know, if that's something you'd like me to review, then, then yeah, I could do that. But mostly I do review most books that I read. Um, just not, just not the book a day ones this was just really quick recommendations for you to go and investigate further okay but thank you for asking the questions it's uh, you know not everybody's been with me from the very beginning and might not necessarily know that so today's book really enjoyed that really enjoyed this evening is the whole day and this is I have to read this from looking at it Preeta Samarasan Preeta Samarasan this is a fantastic book it's in post-colonial Malaysia it's one of the choices that if you're not aware Mel Melanie from Mel's Bookland Adventures she has around the world book club on Goodreads and um, I mean this is I don't know if we've read it a couple of years ago now this was her choice for Malaysia and I loved it I really enjoyed it it's it's essentially a bit of a family drama really so we're looking at all the characters in a quite um, a well-off Indian immigrant family and um, everything on the outside you know seems all good and dandy and, uh, and, and there's nothing um, there's no secrets no skeletons in their cupboards you know uh, but uh, as as they start to delve deeper into this um, you know all isn't what it seems in that household and we've got a young servant girl called Chelum and she comes to work for them so obviously she's 
party to everything that happens there. It's very much, um, it, it raises awareness of um, bigotry really and um, inequalities and also it shows that amongst the caste system in India there's still quite a lot of um, words gone now what I was thinking of earlier there's, there's still quite discrimination yeah discrimination there's still quite a lot of discrimination uh, amongst amongst the Indian population amongst the, those that think you know the caste system is very important and if they're of a lower caste there's a lot quite strict rules and regulations and uh, I think it uh, it raises that awareness that not necessarily discrimination is from one race to another but it does take place within you know within their own community and um, as with any community really so it's it's very nicely written. It does give you a flavour of what's happening uh, post-colonial Malaysia and uh, yeah, very good read. So I thought we'd have a bit of overseas fiction uh, today for a change. That's evening is the whole day. Okay, my lovelies. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye for now.